Hi, it's Jolene from Yummy Inspirations, and today I'm going to go through a whole lot of fun finds that I got, foodie finds that I got from a local specialty store. I'm in Melbourne, Australia, and it was at Oasis Bakery. I got all these goodies, so if you're local, you know where to go. Um, it's a specialty store that has just a bit of everything, and I spent a good hour with my husband wandering around up and down every single aisle, um, because we're now on the low-carb keto diet, and we just want to get a whole lot of goodies just to just help make it easier and have a, just to try a whole lot of different foods. And my cat is sniffing about. <laughs> he's, he's, he's just right here. Um, and so I'm going to go through, starting with the fridge section of foods, and then I can pop it all in the fridge and I'll go through all the rest. Um, now, just a quick little disclaimer. If you're thinking about going on a low-carb keto diet, it's a very good idea to have a chat with your health professional, make sure it's right for you and you're doing the right thing. And also everyone's idea of keto, low-carb, you may have different parameters of what you're doing. Um, so I'm not going to go into that too much, but I'm just going to go through what I found. And a lot of these items I'm going to share with my husband. So where the carb count might be slightly higher, we are going to share it. So let's just get into it. So let's start with kombucha. Um, I love kombucha. We've had this one before, apple crisp. It's really, really, really yum. Um, now, um, the carb content of kombucha, it's got um, four grams of carbs. Oh, can you see there? It's got four grams of carbs per 330 mils. Um, and I usually, I'll probably have like half a cup or so a day. And remember a lot of those carbs in kombucha is eaten up in the process. Um, but that is kombucha and kefir as well. Um, it, it, it's not strictly low, low carbs. It's four, it's got 4.4 grams per serve. Oh, it's not really focusing. It's got 4.4 grams per serve. But again, I'll have about half a cup and um, I have had a bit of a sore throat lately and kefir seems to really help and boost my probiotics. So I'm happy having that and working it in part of my carbs through the day. Um, <laughs> on to these other fun finds here. My husband chose this. He loves feta. So he got a whole beautiful type of Persian feta, which only has, um, I think it's 0.5 grams of carbs um, <laughs> and the cat how many carbs do you have cat standing on the meat oh my goodness oh my goodness okay um, so the meat we've got some pastrami 100 grams of pastrami um, look at this I picked this out I thought it looked so interesting truffle and porcini mushroom dip it's gluten free and the carbs 0.3 grams of carbs per serve this cat is intent on getting into the video, aren't you, kitty? Out the way. Um, so that's low carb, and it's got all oh, the ingredients of it. Mushrooms, cheese, garlic, truffle, porcini mushrooms, white vinegar, cracked pepper and salt. I look forward to getting to that, sticking a couple of sticks of celery into that. Oh, it's going to be yum. Um, Kerrygold butter when we were in England recently. I love me carry. I love Kerrygold in England and Ireland. So I saw it and I couldn't resist getting a nice stick of Kerrygold gold. I'm going to fry up eggs in it and oh, can't wait. Um, this was a really interesting find. It's called Way Whip. So it's kind of like an ice cream. Um, I'm going to share this with my husband so we can have half of it each. But still, per whole pack, there are per pack there's seven point six grams of carbs. So we can have half of that each. Um, I'm quite happy with that. As you know, these all these items we're not going to eat every day, but. When we're wanting something sweet that we can have half of it or even a quarter of it because I reckon a quarter of that would also really hit the spot. That's whey whip and it's got really well, interesting ingredients. Water, whey protein, skim milk powder, pasteurized egg yolk, cocoa powder, gar gum, uh, xanthan gum, uh, organic stevia leaf extract. So that's going to be a really interesting product to try out, Whey Whip Protein Ice Cream. And our pastrami, and that is our cold stuff. I'm going to go pop all this in the fridge, and we'll move on to all the other items. Okay, I've locked the cat away in the bedroom, so I'll be able to get through this without any more kitty distractions. Um, this is all the pantry items that I've got a whole lot of snacks and bits and pieces, so let me talk you through everything. We've got this... Organic coconut crunch. I found this really interesting. Diet's excellent source of dietary fiber. Air dried coconut. It's just coconut meat and it's got 
two and a half grams of carbs per serving. Um, I'll probably just sprinkle a teaspoon of this, um, maybe, I'm not sure I'm gonna sprinkle over, maybe if I make some smoothies, I'm just gonna have a play with this and see what I do with it, I'll let you know. Um, and we've got a whole lot of different bits of nuts for snacks. We've got, um, these are all, it's kind of like a mix. It's almost like a granola mix, but it's just nuts and seeds and coconut, um, hazelnuts, some roasted hazelnuts. These are all just different snacks. Um, and some nuts. My husband picked a whole bag of almonds. He'll probably take these to work to keep him nourished while he's at work. Um, we've got some sauerkraut. It's good to have some sauerkraut in the fridge, pop that in the fridge. Um, some forest mushrooms. I'm gonna make a, I have an idea when I saw these, to make a mushroom risotto with um, cauliflower rice. So just grate a whole lot of cauliflower and then I'll rehydrate these and make a mushroom risotto. I thought that would be really yum. I saw that and instantly had to get it. Um, some more snacks. We've got protein, the beef biltong snack, jerky. I'm, I grew up in South Africa, so biltong for me, anything I see with biltong, I just gotta have it. So we've got two different bags, and the plan with these is we'll open one bag, share it between the two of us, pop it in Ziploc bags, and then husband can take it to work, and I'll keep it while I'm home and out and about with the boys. And this has per 40 gram serving, and this, the whole bag has one point, oh, it's very difficult to read, 1.36 grams of carbs per whole bag. So sharing this, we're each gonna have very minimal carbs and a really awesome snack. So I'm really happy to find this barbecue flavor, an original flavor of biltong. So that will be an awesome snack. And also to share with my husband, orange pan of chocolate. This is a little more indulgent. Um, I've had this before, not for a while. Oh, it is so good. It's really rich and you don't need a lot of it to have a really good treat um, a third of the pack is 3.4 grams of carbs so the whole thing um, would be um, yeah not as high carbs as normal chocolate would be so we're gonna each have half of it so um, we'll share this when we want a little bit of sweetness um, and just yeah all of these not to have every day but just for once in a while to have and also cacao butter i'm gonna have a play with this organic cacao butter which has zero carbs in it <laughs> zero carbs in it so i'm gonna have a play and just see what i come up with again i will share with you so make sure you subscribe because um i'm gonna have a play with all these ingredients and lastly sardines um my husband picked a couple of tins of sardines he loves sardines i'm not much of a sardine fan personally but he's gonna enjoy those so i think that's everything those are all of our low carb keto finds at specialty store nearby um i'm just gonna have fun we spent a bit of a fortune but um the kids are on a holiday program today so we used the opportunity to go to oasis bakery and we spent about an hour walking up and down and reading labels on every single aisle you need a lot of time um when you're following a diet like this you need time in a supermarket to read and have a look and make your own decisions about what you're going to do i am very much not a complete rule follower i like to kind of know just about what's the best thing to do and then make my own decisions and do what I feel is best for me and for my family and for my husband and for all of us. So there you go. That is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave us a thumbs up there. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I share new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Um, so make sure you subscribe to get notified when something new comes out and um, we'll see you again soon. Bye.